here, welcome back. I'm Bianca and today I'm bringing you Festa Beauty for 2015. Oh my goodness, 2015 absolutely just flew by. It is crazy to think about. I am super excited to see what 2016 has in store for me. My goodness, I'm getting married this year and I am beyond thrilled. Okay, so let's get down to business. 2015, whew, the new makeup products that kept coming out were incredible. And it was so hard to condense this down so that I didn't have a video that was two to three hours long. So I tried my best to bring you my absolute top beauty products of 2015. Now keep in mind, these aren't necessarily products that came out in 2015. They may have been around for a while, but they are definitely products that I fell in love with and products that I have used time and time again. I love them, I stand by them, I highly recommend them. If you haven't tried any of these products, go ahead and check out the shopping list down below and check some of these products out. Okay, so in no particular order, I'm just going to start taking products off my desk and sharing them with you guys. So, my first product here is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Water Gel. <laughs> this stuff has been a game changer in my skincare routine. I absolutely love it. It is wonderful for oily to combo skin. I've raved about it quite a few times here on my channel. So, this stuff is amazing. Okay, next up I have a primer. And it is the Too Faced Primed and Poreless Primer. I had about five samples of these and I only have two left and I absolutely love this stuff. Now I have tried quite a few primers throughout the year and my current favorite is the Tarte one, but this one I used so much during 2015. I fell in love with it. This stuff is amazing. It does have a slight tint to it. It smells amazing. It is a silicone based primer, so it's going to smooth your face. It's going to fill in all of those pores. It's going to extend the wear of your foundation and also it's going to help keep you matte for a lot longer. Love this stuff. Okay, foundations, my goodness. The L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte comes by no surprise and the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless. These two babies right here, they came out at the end of 2014, I believe. So I have used them the entire year. These babies here are tried and true. They are simply amazing. If you have oily to combo skin, I guarantee you will love these. If you do have dry skin, I would watch out for this one because it will cling to your dry patches. <sighs> these are my holy girls right here. Okay, so clearly all of these products you've probably heard and you have seen on my channel quite a bit, which the two products I'm about to show you, of course, you know, I had to put these in this video. And they are the NYX HD blushes. I have Beach Babe and Deep Plum here. They are so gorgeous. They're so affordable. They're so pigmented. They blend out beautifully. I mean, you just simply cannot go wrong. Like NYX hit it out of the park with these blushes. I have so many, but these are like my top, top faves. Deep Plum and Beach Babe. They are so gorgeous. And they're really such a great blush. My next product is the Urban Decay Naked Skin Complete Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer. Whew. This concealer is incredible. It truly is. And it was between this one and the Maybelline Better Skin Concealer, which I love and is legit a dupe for this one. And I was just like, oh, which one, which one? And this one just knocks it out of the park. I have, I've had this one a lot longer and literally I'm down to the very bottom. I need to pick up a new one. It is so full coverage yet weightless. It has a doe foot applicator that makes putting it on super easy. It has a beautiful satin matte finish. This concealer is hands down the best concealer of 2015. Okay, contouring is something that I do every single day. Every single day, unless I'm not wearing makeup. But if I'm wearing makeup, I am contouring my face and this baby right here has been well loved. And this is the NYX Highlight and Contour Palette. It is so affordable. You can get it at Ulta, stack it with a coupon, wait for it to go on sale and you'll get it for even less. It caters to so many different skin tones, which is amazing. This banana shade, clearly, it is one of my top 
favorite setting powders for under my eye. They have some beautiful matte shades. Some are a little more satin. This taupe one right here is going to be great for a multitude of skin tones. It has a deep, deep brown for deeper, darker skin tones. This palette is amazing. Each powder actually comes out and they are refillable. So I need to purchase a new banana shade and I'll just simply go on the NYX website and buy the refill to pop back in here. Now Ulta doesn't sell the refills, I don't believe, but you can purchase them on the NYX website. And because I love a beautiful highlight, my favorite highlighter, and this was so, 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 so hard. And I only picked one, but this one was the one that I was like, okay, without a doubt, I wore this so, so much. It is the Makeup Forever Pro Sculpting Duo in 02. This gold right here is perfection. It is simply gorgeous. I love it. I'm obsessed with it. I'm wearing it today. Makeup Forever knocked it out of the park with this one because this highlighter is amazing. Okay, so I'm going to talk about eyeshadows now, which is really hard, and I tried my best, but I am going to talk about four but really it's technically three. So the first one is the L'Oreal palette nude one and two. So technically this is like one because you get the gist of it. It's the L'Oreal palette nude one and two. These are great affordable drugstore palettes. They're very pigmented, they're great quality. Some of them are a little powdery, but I'm okay with that. They do run about $19.99, but like always, wait for a sale, stack a coupon on top of it, and you got yourself a deal because these palettes are great. Okay, I have two more palettes. The first palette is the Too Faced Semi-Sweet Chocolate Palette. <sighs> smells amazing. They did an amazing job with the colors here. They're beautiful. They're creamy. They're pigmented. They blend well. $49 is oh so steep. It truly is, but it is worth every penny. So if you have any Christmas gift cards that you're waiting to spend that Ulta or Sephora, this is definitely a great buy. Okay, Best of Beauty 2015 also goes to the Lorac Mega Pro 2. I did not purchase the first one that came out, but this one is incredible. It is pricey. It was $59, I believe. I did do a review and tutorial featuring this palette, and I will link that video down below if you're interested, as well as the L'Oreal palette Nude 1 and 2. I have a review and I have a tutorial on both of them, so I will leave the link to those videos down below if you're interested. But this palette, it comes with two rows of mattes, two rows of shimmers. It was worth every penny. Love, love, love the Lorac Mega Pro too. Okay, next up I have some ColourPop products. This is my entire ColourPop collection, not including lippies. And 2015 was the first time I tried ColourPop, which it wasn't until the summer, actually. And I was blown away. I know what all the hype is about now. They are well worth all the hype, all the rave. They are amazing. They are affordable. The pigmentation of every product is amazing. So I won't go into detail about all of my favorite products that I have because clearly I don't have that many, but I do have some favorite products. So if you are curious, I will leave some info in the description box below, but I really wanted to include them because this was a new brand to me for 2015. I had never tried anything prior and I literally fell in love with this company. Okay, it's time for lippies. These are the Milani Amore Matte Lip Creams. They came out this year. They were limited edition and Milani, my goodness, have brought these babies back to their permanent collection and they've also brought out 10 more shades. Yes, I cannot believe it. And I'm so thrilled and cannot wait to get my hands on the new shades. But these are absolutely amazing. They are so pigmented. They are the best drugstore liquid lipstick out there because they are a true liquid lipstick. When you think of a liquid lipstick, you think of Kat Von D, Anastasia Beverly Hills, ColourPop, Dose of Colors. And then some of the drugstores are now coming out with similar takes on liquid lipsticks but Milani has got it down. Like these are liquid lipsticks. They're affordable, they're pigmented, they're high quality. They dry down to a matte, matte liquid paint and they literally are the best drugstore liquid lipsticks out there. Oh, I cannot, I 
cannot forget to add this, which I almost forgot. This was my absolute favorite hair care product. And this is the Garnier Texture Tease. If you love to tease your hair on the daily, this is going to be your best friend. I kid you not. You just spray this in your hair. It's going to help hold the tease. It's going to help hold volume. It's going to add extra volume. It's just going to provide texture to your hair. If you like beachy waves, just spray this in your hair, scrunch it a little bit, and it's going to help hold that texture, add volume. This stuff is amazing. It's so affordable. I always catch it on a deal. I cannot rave about this stuff enough. Okay, well, that is a wrap for Best of Beauty 2015. It was so hard to condense my entire makeup collection down to just a few products that were my absolute favorites, but I did it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to leave me a comment down below letting me know what were your favorite products for 2015. 2016 has already brought out so many great new makeup products. I have a lot of reviews, swatches, tutorials, demos coming out for you guys. Again, Happy New Year. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys.